and the youth that I work with are brilliant. The risk factors that they have in their lives are heart-wrenching and yet their resilience and their joy and their capacity to their tenacity to um, to endure their courage their strength it keeps them off the streets out of trouble it keeps them accountable to something and building that strength of accountability um, and I would even say for a lot of our students, this is like a home. Some of them, they go home and it's a really bad situation. It's five, six people living in a one bedroom, abusive family. And so for them, having a place to come, a place where they are accepted who they are, where they can bring all of themselves, where they are encouraged, you know, and they're promoted to be the best they can be. For me, when I first arrived, I didn't know nothing. But with the help of uh, IRC, uh, after school program, I was able to to like fit in with other students because they didn't like I was far behind. But then when I get enough help from them, they gave me like confidence. Yeah. When funding for after school programs goes away, not only do you use a, lose those important educational hours, um, but you also lose access to nutrition programs. So when children aren't able to go into an after school program to get a meal, they miss out on um, the fresh fruits and vegetables they might be getting in that program. Um, and for a lot of kids, they come from low income families. And those meals make a big difference for families in stretching their budgets. 